you ever come close to making contact with an object or vehicle while turning? Are you aware of how far out the rear of the bus will go as you make the turn? Turns can be dangerous and costly if you do not take the necessary precautions before and during these maneuvers. They are among the most common type of accident in the school bus and motor coach industry. Hi, I'm Todd Carrier with Protective Insurance Company. In this edition of Safety Solutions, we'll review turning techniques and point out things to help you avoid these accidents. Before we begin, it's important to understand how turning accidents occur. Most of these accidents are minor and only involve something such as a mailbox, a mirror, or a stop sign. However, these accidents can also involve pedestrians, resulting in extensive bodily harm. For example, a right turn in a school bus on a tight residential street may only result in the rear tire going over someone's lawn or sidewalk, but a left turn in a motor coach in a parking lot drop-off situation could knock a pedestrian into a parked car causing severe bodily injury. Poorly adjusted mirrors, not knowing the dimensions of the bus, speed, and proximity of moving objects can all contribute to this type of accident. Let's take some time to concentrate on proper turning techniques to minimize these exposures. First, you should always know the approximate length and width of the vehicle. Many school buses have a standard width of 8.5 feet and length of 40 to 45 feet. The rear axle of a bus, as in a passenger vehicle, acts as a pivot point for the rear of the vehicle. However, the distance between the rear axle and the rear of the bus is much greater than the distance between the rear axle and the rear of a passenger car. This part of the bus between the rear axle and the rear of the bus is commonly referred to as the tail swing because it appears to swing around during a turn maneuver. This tail swing can be up to 10 feet or more on a standard school bus. If you are assigned to a different vehicle, it is important to be aware of this before pulling out of your space. Not knowing how long or wide your bus is will make it very difficult to determine where your vehicle will be throughout a turn. Follow your company's policy on pre-trip inspections and be sure to take note of your vehicle dimensions. Next, Ensure the mirrors are adjusted properly. Begin with the driver's side mirror. If you can see the windows on the side of the bus, the mirrors need to be pushed out. You can see how the cone comes in and out of view. When making a left turn, remember to ensure that the right rear of your bus will adequately clear vehicles, pedestrians, and objects which are on your right side as you begin the turn. Look left and ahead to ensure that you have the right of way to make the left turn. And last, but certainly not least, briefly glance at your left and right mirrors to ensure that your vehicle will clear all potential objects or hazards during the turn. Typically, when you make a right turn, it's at an intersection or in a parking lot. Since there are a significant number of accidents which happen while a driver is making a right turn, it is important once again to ensure your mirrors are properly adjusted to see any objects, people, or vehicles on the right side of the bus. Check to the right side of the school bus for any obstacles, vehicles, or pedestrians. This will help you in clearing the turn during the maneuver. Set up your turn no more than four feet from the curb. Look at your left mirrors briefly to ensure that your left tail swing has adequate clearance from vehicles, objects, and pedestrians. During the turn, it is necessary to ensure your rear axle has enough clearance to keep your bus from pinching objects on your right once the bus begins the pivot. Check your right, flat, and convex mirrors for space as your bus continues through the turn. Recheck your left mirrors for clearance in the event a vehicle or person has entered the area where your tail swing will occur. Once you have completed the right turn, check your mirrors once again and straighten out your front wheels before accelerating ahead. If you are driving a motor coach, you should also know the approximate length and width of the vehicle. Many motor coaches have a standard width of 9 feet and length of 45 feet. 
In most cases, the front axle is behind the driver, which makes turning somewhat of a challenge as you begin the actual turn later in the process compared to a passenger vehicle. The rear axle of a coach, as in a passenger vehicle, also acts as a pivot point for the rear of the vehicle. However, the distance between the rear axle and the rear of the motor coach is also much greater than the distance between the rear axle and the rear of a passenger car. Although the tail swing on a motor coach is not as drastic as that of a school bus, the tail swing on a motor coach can still be several feet. Just like with a school bus, not knowing how long or wide your bus is will make it less likely to know where your vehicle will be throughout a turn. Follow your company policy on pre-trip inspections and be sure to make a mental note of your vehicle dimensions. When turning left in a motor coach, remember to ensure that the right rear of your vehicle will adequately clear vehicles, pedestrians, and objects which are on your right side as you begin the turn. Second, look left and ahead to ensure that you have the right of way and make the left turn. And last, but certainly not least, briefly glance at your left and right mirrors to ensure that your vehicle will clear all potential objects or hazards during the turn. Typically, when you make a right turn, it's at an intersection or in a parking lot. Since there are a significant number of accidents which happen while a driver is making a right turn, it's important once again to ensure your mirrors are properly adjusted to be able to see objects, people, or vehicles on the right side of the motor coach. Check to the right side of the motor coach, if possible, for any obstacles, vehicles, or pedestrians. This will help you in clearing the turn during the maneuver. Set up your turn no more than four feet from the curb. Look at your left mirrors briefly to ensure that your left tail swing has adequate clearance from vehicles, objects, and pedestrians. During the turn, it is necessary to ensure your rear axle has enough clearance to keep your bus from pinching objects on your right once the bus begins the pivot. Check your right, flat, and convex mirrors for space as your bus continues through the turn. Recheck your left mirrors for clearance in the event a vehicle or person has entered the area where your tail swing will occur. Once you have completed the right turn, check your mirrors once again and straighten out your front wheels before accelerating ahead. When turning from a single lane into a double lane, always turn into the far lane and make the transition to the desired lane well after your turn. When entering a double turn, Always stay in the outside lane to avoid a pinch by the outside vehicle. So let's recap. Conduct a thorough pre-trip inspection. Ensure your mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. Know your vehicle, including the amount of tail swing you will have. Check your mirrors during the turn to ensure you have clearance on both sides, especially the tail swing. If there's any doubt about your clearances, Perhaps you shouldn't try, and never assume it's okay, because that's how it's always been done. And finally, always use the outside lanes and be aware of your surroundings at all times when turning or maneuvering the bus or motor coach. For more safety solutions and risk management resources, visit our website at protectiveinsurance.com and click on loss prevention. And remember, there's always time for safety. Mm -hmm.